ินก็ได้พาคุณผู้ชมมาดูบรรยากาศของการประชุม WSBI แล้วแต่ว่าไม่เพียงเท่านั้นนะคะวันนี้ฟิมยังได้รับเกียรติจาก MD WSBI มาร่วมพูดคุยเกี่ยวกับการออมิกด้วยค่ะ My name is Chris d e n o s I'm the managing director of the WSBI, the World Saving Retail Banking Institute. Could you tell me briefly about WSBI? Sure, with pleasure. Uh, WSBI is a worldwide organization of savings and retail banks. We uh, have 100 members um, in more than 80 countries. So, what is WSBI doing? Uh, we are doing advocacy. So it means that we are promoting and defending and representing the business model of savings and retail banks uh, towards the international organizations such as World Bank, IMF, uh, Basel Committee, G20, and so on. Uh, that's a, a first activity. Second activity is the exchange of experience. So we bring members together to exchange experiences with regard to different topics such as savings mobilization, financial education. Uh, digitalization, which is currently a little bit a buzzword. Uh, our members, uh, they are of a different sort. They are all saving retail banks, but they, we, we, the common denominator of saving retail banks is, as we call them, the three R's. The, the first R is retail. It, all our members are at least for 50% are doing retail banking. Which means providing financial services to households, uh, families, SMEs, so small and medium-sized enterprises and local authorities. Second, R it's regional, which means that all our members have large networks, and which also means that they are very important to uh, access for for access to finance, for financial inclusion. And third, R is uh, responsible. Our members. Have not as a first objective to make or to maximize profits, but to bring a, a dividend to society. It is the digital era at the present, and there are some changes around the world, such as cashless society. How do banks member cope with these changes, and does WSBI help them facilitate regarding uh, with this member? I think digitalization will change the banking world. Digitalization should be used to give a better service to the customer uh, in a in a more efficient way. I think this is the challenge for institutions. And how do we? How can we as WSBI help? Well, to bring them together. We have a lot in our membership. We have a lot of institutions which are far ahead. Uh, in Europe, also in Asia, uh, and they can help and learn to the others who are less far ahead. So uh, that's our role to bring them together. And but uh, it, uh, we think that as WSBI, digitalization is really a priority for helping our members. I have heard that the WSBI meeting have been held in Thailand for several times in several years. What do you think about Government Saving Bank of Thailand as WSBI member? GSB, the Government Savings Bank of Thailand, I would say it's one of the pillars in the region, and I don't, I do not say this because I'm here in the Asia Pacific region, but it's since I started my career at the WSBI, I was uh, invited by GSB to set up. Common events, common initiatives in this region, and I, I know that I can always count on GSB. Uh, first of all, in the relationship with WSBI, uh, GSB was organizing already general assemblies, other events. For example, last year, where they organized a very, very fruitful and very successful uh, event on digitalization and innovation, even where there was also an intervention of the Thai Central Bank, which was very much appreciated by the participants. Uh, we already had workshops as well, not only in Bangkok but also in Chiang Mai or Phuket. Uh, and I, GSB is always open to receive uh, and to function as a hub for the region here for the World Saving Retail Banking Institute. That's one. Secondly, I think GSB is also can also be a reference for the other members because GSB is not is a public bank, a government savings bank. Uh, they are a fully fledged retail bank. But they also have the spirit of a savings bank, and I mean by that that it's not a pure bank. Uh, GSB has also 
the DNA of being a social bank, which means that they provide services to all layers of the population, not only rich, not only well-off people, but also poor people. They are open for all kinds of uh, population. I, th I think that's good. Uh, GSB is also well advanced already in innovation, uh, also in financial education, which is also very high on our agenda. And also there, I think members here in the region can learn a lot from the Government Savings Bank. ประชาชนชาวกัมพูชานะคะที่มีอยู่ประมาณ 15-16 ล้านคนมีความชื่นชอบสินค้าและก็บริการจากประเทศไทยมากๆเลยล่ะค่ะระดับรายได้ของชาวกัมพูชานะคะจะอยู่ประมาณ 7,600 บาทถึง 15,000 บาทค่ะแต่ว่าค่าครองชีพแพงกว่ารายได้ค่ะสินค้าจากประเทศไทยคือสินค้าที่ตลาดกัมพูชาให้การยอมรับและมีความต้องการนำเข้าอย่างต่อเนื่องกลุ่มตลาดการค้าสมัยใหม่ที่เรียกว่า Modern Trade หรือห้างสรรพสินค้าทั้งประเทศมีอัตราส่วนประมาณ 5% ส่วนอีก 95% คือตลาดการค้าดั้งเดิมชมบรรยากาศรอบเมืองกันค่ะระหว่างที่เรากําลังเดินทางไปห้างสรรพสินค้าที่ใหญ่ที่สุดในกัมพูชากันค่ะปัจจุบันเป็นห้างสรรพสินค้าที่มีขนาดใหญ่มากที่สุดในกัมพูชาค่ะเกิดจากการร่วมทุนกันระหว่างไทยญี่ปุ่นแล้วก็กัมพูชาเองค่ะทั้งสินค้าแล้วก็ราคาถูกใจผู้บริโภคทุกระดับเลยค่ะ